hello guys in this video I will just try to give you examples on how the trend begins and how the trend ends it means going down now these guys let's say mutual fans they begin to buy in this area here let's say in December 13th 2013 as you see it on the uh, on the chart it means at the end of 2013 in December they begin to buy okay you will see that there is a big a big trend and it stops here it stops in September 4th 2014 okay it means it's like 10 months now this trend has 10 months and then the oil and gas pipelines this is this industry it goes down in in just uh, one month okay from from September to October it, it looks like one month in one month you see where the people have begun okay the price and it goes here oh this is the trend and then they sell here in all this month they sell okay it takes them 10 months to buy but only one month to sell that's why the big guys are selling here okay in this what you see here and those maybe who short the stock hedge fund and the other stuff they come later and they finish the trend down it means they sell all the people um uh shares and the price is going down and down and down in, and you see here it's very very quick in one month all what the people have all the investor what they get they lose in one month okay so for us we are looking for this we are looking for the uptrend okay we are not interested in the downtrend okay some people they do because sometimes the market will be volatile it goes down and sometimes it goes so quick up so if you are shorting sometimes you will lose too much money if you if you uh, if you don't put stop loss and if you're not careful you can lose in three days or four days you see how the stock has changed or this index has changed the direction from going down to going up and here you see that the that this industry is going up and down up and down up and down there is no real trend here okay so what we are looking for always is trends like this either they are small or big or medium it's not important because we don't know if it is big or small or, or uh, long it's just when it finishes like this and we know when it ends that's why we always use a stop loss if there is something wrong with the market we exit the trade if it continues we, we buy it again there is no problem with that okay so you should be always flexible don't have commitment in trading you should have commitment only in investing in stocks trading you should be um, you should be aware of the fluctuations since you are following a trend you should continue follow a trend but if it's against you you exit with a profit that's it what you are doing and this is just an example I can give you another example very quick is the same thing so uh, I just put a lot of um, a uh, lot of lines okay here again it's another industry it's the same it's an energy sector this is the trend and this is the opposite trend which is the sell-off okay if you buy for long like one month two months three months you make too much money but if you stay you will lose all that money and you lose money okay that's why we, we are following only trends uptrends we are not following downtrends okay 
and if you follow it and it's good you can make a lot of money in these trends so this is how um how the mutual funds and the other guys or the players of the market they make the market move upward which is called an uptrend and they move the market down this has nothing to do with the company itself it's just players they play the game if you understand the game you can make money if you are looking for companies and uh, what they do and uh, the other stuff here you are you are not trading anymore you are looking for investing and this what i am teaching you here is not investing it is just trading swing trading we we try to follow these trends and make money from them that's it we aren't going to stay the whole life in this because this is one year it's very good but one month is, is not good so you should exit and you tell me for example oh uh, maybe the stock will go up again okay but you don't know maybe it continue like this it go up and go down and down and down and you lose almost all your money and this is a big mistake so always differentiate that you you are swing trading you are not investing thank you very much